Now, March 21, 2015 was a date one Melbourne family and the Harlequins Club will never forget. It was the day Fijian-born father of two, Matthew Vosa, suffered a spinal injury that left him a quadriplegic. The great news is there has been improvement. Every day takes hard work and truckloads of courage. <laughs> The day was on, on the injury, I was looking forward to be the first game of my last season. Then we had that first line out. When I burst through the line outs, all I could remember is like sitting up and trying to find the space. All of a sudden, I could hear the, the crack behind my neck. She straight away said, oh, you might have a spinal injury. When it first happened, basically couldn't move his lips, that was it. He had to learn to lift his arms. You know, he couldn't even scratch his nose, change the channel on the remote, nothing. We had to do everything for him. <laughs> Thank you, come to get your bags. Oh, come on, now. They've been home with Dad a lot of the time because I work three days a week, so they've uh, had to entertain themselves. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Every day when I get up, every battle started because you have to be strong. I have to be positive every day. I try and use my arms to go with emotions to try and get up with the, just around the chest and the core muscles. I've been uh, sit up trying to do 200 of that ones every morning. Pretty hard when you finish rugby. You still got that feelings in your body to get fit every day. That's one big thing that I have to look forward to. You have to be strong. Most of the emotions that I have to just keep it to myself. So I don't want to share it. I don't want to show it to my kids how tough the, uh, the journey is. Matthew's around six foot eight. We've had to get everything specially made, like even the commode. We paid more for the commode than we did for his first car, believe it or not. <laughs> Five and a half thousand dollars for a shower, shower chair. We got an extension mattress on the bed so that I can fit in there. It actually doesn't fit him, they've had to put an extension in. Otherwise my calves will be hanging off the edge of the bed. And now turn over. It's not going to show now. Yeah. Here we go, look at that. They've taken one of the donor nerves from here and put it in his thumb, and they've taken one of the donor nerves from here and put it in his fingers. So hopefully he should be able to do this after two years. That's how long the nerves take to grow in. Now he's feeding himself, he, you know, can hold a cup by himself, drink. He's doing thousand piece jigsaw puzzles for therapy. He's got the pinch back in his fingers. It's slow, it's slow and steady, but there's continual improvement, which is good. So when the injury happened, there was a group of us that got together and we really wanted to start some fundraising. The support was outstanding, to be honest. Um, we had support all the way up from our U. All the clubs within Victorian Rugby gave us um, support and assistance. Some of the experiences have been astronomical. This is a, a never-ending sort of mission that we're on. We've just got to keep on pushing and see where it sort of takes us. Nah, I don't regret anything. I do, I still love rugby. When I went down to the club, just enjoying being there and loved the atmosphere. Yeah, I never regret playing rugby when I had this injury because I had lots of injuries before I had my spinal injury.
to see him still with a smile on his face. He's a good man, Matty Vosa. Great family. Clearly, they've come a long way, but every battle, every day rather, is a battle. And, and you can show your support by being part of the For Matty Celebrity Golf Day, Friday, June 30. Bookings at formattyv at gmail.com. Stephen Hoyles, I know you are mobilising the classic Wallabies to get involved in that. Yeah, well, our major charity is Hearts in Union, who help support anyone who's injured from spinal injuries through rugby so yeah, there's a lot of people helping the rebels are doing awesome work down there the harlequins and and the rugby people it's probably one of the best things about our game is that when people do fall on hard times a lot of people work together don't they exactly right and uh for matty uh, on facebook you can go searching for that and show your support there as well